Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video. My name is Underflow and I'm going to be covering the story as of right now of Jackson Mahomes' sexual assault charge. Uh, if you don't know who Jackson Mahomes is, he is Patrick Mahomes' uh, younger brother if I'm not mistaken. He is a man who purely lives on the internet posting some of the cringiest material known to man and practically doing nothing besides living in the shadow of his older brother Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes is a quarterback for the Chiefs, and he's really talented at what he does, a great quarterback overall, and Jackson Mahomes is pretty much just a standard, you know, typical internet fuckboy who likes to sit there and shake his hips for younger women on the, uh, on the TikTok and the YouTube and the Instagram and the Snapchat. Every time I would ever see one of Jackson Mahomes' is like, uh, videos on Snapchat, it, it honestly made me want to puke because uh, I couldn't ever read him and he always acted so weird, but today, you know, all of that finally gets revealed and we're all here for the downfall of Jackson Mahomes. I want to quickly show you a few of my favorite clips of Jackson Mahomes of over the years across the internet and I want you all to watch them and then we're going to get into the actual topic of him sexually assaulting a woman. Now see, that must have been one of the hardest minutes of your life ever after watching that. I did cover up a lot of the uh, usual sound that would play in his cringy ass TikToks, not due to the fact that they were copyright, I couldn't really care about that, it's purely to save your ears with how much more cringier it makes. Alright, so enough of the backwards water bullshit, I'm gonna get right down to the meat in the sandwich, the meat in the burrito, we're gonna get right to the hardcore evidence that I'm going to show you in a second. So this overall nasty, lanky Melbourne from Madagascar looking ass decided to force himself on a club owner. Now he went back to her room and then he proceeded to forcibly kiss her twice. Now, Jackson Mayhomes is a standard typical where's my hug at kid. I'm a surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if I found that he was a super senior either. But you know what? That's pretty much, you know, everything that I want to insult him on at the moment. I'm going to quickly show the clip and my heart goes out for the woman in this clip. And I hope everything is okay with her right now. And I hope she's fully doing all right after what happened. But this is completely disgusting, especially if it's by Jackson Mahomes. Fuck that guy. Anyway, here's the clip. So in the video, you can see the woman try to push Jackson Mahomes off of her a multitude of different times. Then she goes on to wipe her lips every time that his would try to touch hers because she is that disgusted by him and I don't blame her at all. He goes up and he continuously grabs her by the throat and by the side of the head, pulls her hair trying to get a fucking kiss out of her as to why, how, or how the fuck could you do that to somebody? It doesn't matter. Even if he, even if his excuse is going to be, oh, I was drunk or I was a little bit tipsy or, oh, my bad. Bad. I'm quirky and I'm an asparagus then I'm just going to be even more thoroughly fucking pissed than I already am because Jackson Mahomes is one of those people that you see on the internet and just immediately clock to one of two things one this guy's a fucking creep or wow there's something mentally wrong with him 
Um, but you know what? All jokes aside, I really hope that this woman's doing okay now because what I just witnessed and saw is completely disgusting. As to how this is going to impact his family name or Patrick Mahomes in general, especially with his football career and his publicity, uh, I don't really know how that's going to go. But Jackson Mahomes' career is hopefully over. The downfall of him uh, is, is sure to come soon, and in my god, it's going to be sweet because after that clip, it's fucking disgusting. This guy just can't seem to keep his hands to himself, and it's absolutely atrocious. I wouldn't be surprised if more videos or evidence or more wacky shit comes out about Jackson Mahomes in the next few weeks to months. Uh, and if they do, I'll try to cover them if I remember about this whole scenario. But yeah, that's pretty much everything I had to say about this uh, specific scenario. But I do have a few announcements of my own to make. So if you don't want to listen to anything that isn't about Patrick Mahomes, so you can click off the video now. This is purely for the people who would want to see some future stuff that I am making. Other than that, thank you guys for watching, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Alright, so this is the topic that I wanted to speak about. This is purely to the people who consecutively watch my content and wouldn't mind watching something that's a little bit different, spicing up the pot of chili, so to speak, with a little bit of crushed up red peppers. So I decided that I kind of want to change up my video ideas and video format and then the editing style and all that's surely to come and like, you know, keep coming after a while. And I'm eventually in this end of this month, hopefully going to regain my AdSense. Like I said, I'm not making money as of the moment right now. And it's not that big a deal. I just like making content, connecting with the people who enjoy it or watch it. I think it's a really great thing to do and I really enjoy it. So in the upcoming moments of later tonight, I'm going to probably be live streaming some gaming stuff. And from that live stream, uh, I will probably turn the live stream and all the clips that I gather from that into an actual hardcore video. I'm going to turn all of that wacky shit into a video and I want to do more gaming type of content videos because as I, I run out of a lot of ideas as someone who just likes to talk about things. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to switch up from the stuff that I abnormally or usually make or whatever. I want to continue to make this type of stuff. I just want to start producing two different types of content. And what I'm going to hope that does is bring in a whole new area of viewers who will then merge with the viewers that I have now. Because I do have a consecutive amount of viewers that continuously watch my stuff on purpose. It's not just like a random click impression. Um, but I would like to make some new content to bring in some fresh new people and start doing something that I enjoy. Because I enjoy playing games and I think it'd be cool for you guys to see me and my friends enjoy playing those games too. I feel like that would be a really fun thing to do is have everybody there. And I'll even involve and have some community stuff going on in games if I continue to make gaming type of videos and whatnot. So the very last thing that I did want to say is, like I said earlier, I'm live streaming tonight. I'm going to go live stream tonight somewhere some few hours after this video is posted. So if you want to come and join that and whatever you guys say in chat, like every every time I've live streamed before, I live stream on YouTube, by the way, not Twitch. I could switch to Twitch. I don't know. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But anytime somebody asks a question in chat, I always, always answer it. Like there's not a time when I don't. I really like talking and engaging with my community. I try to respond to all the comments that I do get and heart them and whatnot like them but anyway i'm going to be streaming some battlefield 5 tonight because battlefield 5 is one of those games that i really enjoyed and i thought it was a real fun wacky moment with the squad when you had all on watching the tank go through the building that you're trying to hide in but anyway that's really all i had to say today and that's really my final announcement so i will be live streaming tonight please tune in if you want to if not have a great day and a blessed night see ya